I'd say my inspiration is probably my wife. Um, she always pushes me um, in life um, and she's achieved so much in her personal life and in um, kind of academic life. Um, and she was the one that inspired me to, to apply for this job um, as well. So I'd say she's always pushing me um, to, to, to be better and, and do more. I'm a, a tennis umpire, um, so I do that throughout the year um, at kind of professional and non-professional events. And the, 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 obviously the, the best thing, the most important thing to end up at is at Wimbledon. Um, so this summer I will be going to officiate my 10th Wimbledon um, in a row, which I'm, I'm very proud of um, and it's something that I, I really enjoy. You, you see lots of famous people um, at the tennis, um, obviously players as well, but we're not allowed to, to speak to the players or interact with them. Um, that's just part of the rules of the officiating and um, to remain impartial. So I understand that, but yes, um, I've been on court with a lot of famous people, um, which is very exciting. I have been hit by a ball um, in my, I think it was my second year of doing it. Um, there was a, a, a serve that came down the centre service line and I tried to duck out the way um, and it, it hit me on the head um, and they are quite painful when you get hit considering that the men normally serve 120 or 130 miles an hour so yeah quite so <laughs> but you can't show it. I really enjoy my cooking and I applied for MasterChef um, here in the UK about four years ago um, and I get down to the last um, stage before appearing on the TV and um, I met one of the producers um, and get filmed cooking a dish and asked questions etc um, but unfortunately didn't make it uh, onto the show so people always ask me would I apply in the future I don't know um, I've not got around to it yet <laughs> I think again going back to my wife she probably inspired me to, to apply for this job I'd been a, a qualified pharmacist for about 12 or 13 years um, whereas my wife's always worked in academia she's a, a lecturer in French and translation um, and she said would you fancy doing that and it was something at the time I'd done not formal teaching before but obviously I'd supervised um, students etc working when I was in the pharmacy um, but I decided to apply, got the job um, and I've, I've not looked back um, and I, I love it, I love making a difference um, to the students and um, that kind of interaction and seeing them come on and improve as, as the years go on um, is, is a, a very good aspect of the job.